as you can see here in front of me, we got beef liver, we got beef heart, we got steak, and we got pork rinds. It's because tomorrow, I'm going to be eating and training like the man, Liver King. I'm going to be undertaking a spiritual and physical journey to becoming a primal. Let's go. What is up everybody? It is morning. Woke up at 5.30 and I'm just going to get down on some breakfast right before I head off to work. For breakfast, we got some raw eggs, we got ground beef, we got raw liver, and we got some fruit. And we are having liver for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because liver is king. We all know that. So this is my first liver king meal and I'm just going to go ahead and cover some of the benefits of raw liver. So first off, the reason that it's eaten raw by some people is because if you cook it, you might cook out some of the nutrients. Uh, so this is just the most basic form of liver, just to ensure that you get all the nutrients possible. All right, so the health benefits include vitamins, minerals, and peptides, uh, some that you can't get really anywhere else. It's proven to help with skin health, nail growth, hair growth, uh, brain functions such as memory, it contains HGF, which helps with the vascular system, and it helps with inflammation. Hepcidin, which helps with the immune system. There are so many benefits to eating liver. It's not just a fad, you know. Um, it is a legit superfood. And now, I'm gonna dig in. First day, down the hatch. First piece of raw liver down the hatch. All right, so that's already better. I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, that's already quite a bit better than just eating it plain and raw. Um, definitely a lot easier to eat. Um, you know, you can still of course taste the beef liver and it's a little bit like, it almost kind of dries out my throat. Like it, I don't know, it's really weird. All right, so overall, pretty solid breakfast. I'm now heading off to work. I understand that Liver King does not work at Chick-fil-A like I do, but I have to go in, which is no problem. I'll be back in a few short hours for lunch, then a workout, and then the rest of the day. We'll see you in a bit. What up, what up, what up? We're back from Chick-fil-A. Just finished up a nice shift at work. Wasn't too long, it was only like four hours. But now it's time to make some food. We're gonna get our lunch ready. I'm not sure what we got yet, I gotta check. But we're gonna go ahead and eat that and then go lift. First, let's jump into meal two. All right, what is up everybody? As you can see here, we've got our meal two laid out in front of us. We've got protein, we've got some steak, we've got butter, we've got liver with maple syrup, and we've got some pork rinds. We've got my salad right here with a little bit of honey over the top. And so we're just gonna go ahead and devour this. We're gonna work out in about an hour and a half. And so this will be a great pre-workout meal. And then I'm also gonna have a little bit of fruit right before I lift just for some extra energy. So I'm absolutely hyped to eat this meal. Let's jump in. Unfortunately, I don't have any bone marrow, uh, but as we know, Liver King absolutely loves his butter. So we're gonna go ahead and try some of that. I've never just eaten butter before, just cause that's not a thing that most people do, but he insists that it's good for you. I mean, butter does have a lot of nutritional benefits. It's got a lot of healthy fats. So I can see why he would do it. Of course, it's important to do it in moderate amounts, but I will be trying a little bit of butter um, for this meal. Honestly, that's pretty tasty. I don't eat butter alone a lot. And of course I wouldn't wanna, you know, eat a ton. It is a lot for a little bite, um, but it tastes pretty good. I mean, you know, butter makes everything taste better. So, you know, you would assume that 
it could probably taste good on its own. Um, so honestly, not bad for the butter. Of course, I eat steak on a fairly regular basis. So I already know that this is delicious. Just seasoned with salt and pepper, along with everything else, including the butter and my pork rind salad. So we're gonna be doing back and biceps in the gym today. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a strictly back workout that Liver King does, but I see him performing all the lifts that I'll be doing during my workout. And so I created kind of a Liver King inspired workout. We're gonna be hitting it hard, like usual, no plan around. All out efforts on every single set. Get into a little bit of the liver. We're not using forks, because our ancestors didn't use forks. We're primals. We use our hands. Liver's not bad. Pretty solid. The maple syrup definitely helps. It's a very kind of earthy tasting and earthy textured meat. All right, so we finished up meal number two, which was our pre-workout meal, or pre-workout-ish. You know, we're going to the gym in about an hour or so. I don't like to lift, you know, with a bunch of, you know, protein kind of sitting in my stomach, uh, but I am gonna have a little bit of fruit right before my lifting session. And I will be taking pre-workout. Um, but anyway, uh, something that I really do like about these meals is, you know, they all are very kind of, you know, brown, you don't have a heck of a lot of variety, um, but it tastes pretty good for the most part. And something that I noticed, something that, you know, the carnivore diet does is you feel a lot more satiated, a lot more fats and protein. Um, you know, all the meat that you eat makes you a lot more full. And so as you can see, you know, the portions are smaller than a normal meal would be for me. Um, you know, where I could kind of stretch the calories across different things. Uh, it's a lot more calorie dense food, um, but at the same time, you feel a lot more full and you end up eating less calories because of that.
what's up everybody we finished our workout had a great back and bicep day uh, I also did some farmer carries uh, they're not in the video because it was crazy busy there I didn't want to take up space I don't have a cameraman you know I was recording the entire thing which you could tell because none of the shots were moving but I don't have you know I, I didn't want to waste people's time I didn't want to take up space so I went and did my workout I had to pass on filming that one unfortunately but we're back now had a great workout and it is time the moment I've been dreading the entire day it's time to get cold we're gonna take a nice cold shower because liver king insists that you become cold every day at some point in the day all right I'm gonna stop putting this off I'm gonna get in because I want to eat some lunch and I can't have food till I take my cold shower. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm not one of those people that takes cold showers every day. I just, I don't like to, so this is not easy for me. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prep meal three, our post-workout meal, in just a little bit. Just took the cold shower, as you know, and to be honest, you know, it was it was freaking cold. It was like high 40s, low 50s. Uh, so it was definitely cold, but not, you know, Liver King's standards. He definitely goes low 40s to mid 30s, you know, from what I've seen. And I definitely would have rather done that. Not necessarily because it would have been easier. It definitely would have been a lot more painful. But it's good to have painful experiences. Pain is temporary. Pain is what helps you grow spiritually, mentally, and physically. That's a little bit of wisdom from me to you. Let's go make lunch. As you can see here, we've got post-workout meal all laid out. I'm going to show you what we got. Let me go ahead and focus that. We've got heart, liver, steak, ground beef, and some butter. And then for carbs, we've got some potato. I'm very excited for this meal, super hungry. So this looks absolutely delicious. And the reason that there are so many meats out uh, in front of me is because that is what Liver King does. Liver King treats his meats like investors treat their stocks. He diversifies so that he can get all of the benefits from all of the meat, which I think is a wise thing to do. This is what Portables Fitness is eating for post-workout. Portables Fitness out. All right, so overall that was a pretty tasty meal. Uh, that was my first time trying beef heart and it was actually really good, tasted. I would say that my favorite thing on the plate was steak. And then the beef heart and the ground beef were pretty close to me. The beef heart was actually really good. It was pretty tender, uh, had good flavor. It tasted a lot like the steak, but it didn't have as much fat. It was leaner. And so of course the steak is gonna taste a little bit better. Um, the liver was my least favorite thing, but it's still not bad. It's just the texture. Potatoes were solid, a little bit undercooked, but you know, they were pretty freaking good. Potatoes with salt, can't really go wrong. Uh, but anyway, we don't really have too much else planned for the day. I'm gonna get some work done as far as video editing goes. And I also gotta get a food handler's license for the state of Utah for my job. Um, but after those two things, we'll be eating dinner and I'll see you real soon. All right, what's up everybody? Just went for a quick bike ride and I couldn't film unfortunately because, you know, my camera can't really carry it while I'm biking. Uh, but it was about five miles and it was just nice and easy, but it was nice to get outside. And now we're going to eat our final meal of the day. It's dinner time. Let's go. Here we got our dinner cooking. We got some more heart. And we got some more steak and we got our liver and we got our final meal of the day we got liver because liver is king for breakfast lunch and dinner we got steak we got beef heart and we got our salad with a little bit of honey on top and then we also got a kiwi on the side i gotta say before i eat this meal 
Uh, I could definitely see the appeal in eating like this. I feel full throughout the day. I feel satiated. Uh, the food tastes pretty good for the most part. Um, I don't know. It's just satisfying, I guess, to kind of eat this way. You feel kind of clean and healthy. It honestly, you know, you'd think that it would kind of feel heavy and, you know, whatever, but it doesn't. I feel pretty good. I felt great throughout the day. I had a lot of energy uh, and honestly look forward to every single meal. I don't know if it's something I could sustain or would want to sustain necessarily for a long period of time, uh, but it's definitely worth trying. I enjoyed eating like Liver King for the day. And I wish I could have done a little bit more Liver King stuff. I wish I could have gotten outside more in the sun, but unfortunately it was cloudy the entire day and there are not a lot of hiking trails around here. Uh, and I can't really get to any hiking trails because I don't have a car. So I did the best I could, but I did enjoy it. Had a great productive day. And now we're gonna get into this final meal. Last bite of liver for camera. We got a big one. Honestly, I've come to like liver just through the day. Wasn't a fan at the very beginning, but at the end, I do enjoy it. This is the last meal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Portables Primal, out.